Hey everybody, it's Albert from Tonal Energy and it's time for a quick Tonal Energy tip. All right, so yesterday the founder of Tonal Energy, co-founder of Tonal Energy, Philip Geiger, was having a discussion with uh, Jarrett Littman, credit, uh, Jarrett Littman, Claudia Taylor Johnson High School in San Antonio, Texas, and they were discussing ways to integrate higher forms of technology into what we're kind of in right now, which you can see up here. I'm actually in the Zoom box, so this is like what the low def quality of Zoom meetings looks like. A lot of us are experiencing music in this manner right now. Now, what we're trying to do is find a way to elevate that. So, you know, coming to you from the Tonal Energy channel, Albert from Tonal Energy, um, we wanted to show you a quick way that we discovered how to integrate Tonal Energy into your Zoom meeting. Okay, so you're going to follow my screen and you're going to go down here to share screen and different things pop up when you're here okay but well, that's a funny face right there um, one of the cool things I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second one of the cool things uh, and this is just one device and one method that I've experienced and I feel confident in right now this is gonna blow up I'm gonna find more ways this is an old-school iPod all it does is iPod stuff doesn't do anything else and it's what's called tethered in, so that means you took the cord and you plugged it in and you plugged it into your computer, however you're experiencing things right now. And then you come here to the iPhone, iPad, cable, via cable, and then I found if you use this share computer sound, this is helpful. So go ahead and click that, and share. Now let's see what happens. Something's cool is going to happen. Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? Ah, there it is. Check it out. Okay, so I'm actually through the Zoom software. Check, 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 check. Check, check. I am talking right now. Through the Zoom software, you are actually not just sharing your, your visual, the face, or the audio from the old microphone here, but you're also sharing the Tonal Energy side of what you're doing. So with that being said, you can actually use Tonal Energy in any way that you normally use it. So you can use any of the analysis pages that you have going here. Okay, you can use the sounds. adjust some temperament in there use the old tuner and if you really want to you can add some uh, recordings in there and look at that I'm able to you know throw a recording of myself hey look it's me inside of a computer inside of an iPod um, long short it's a way to integrate tonal energy into your practice a lot of us are experiencing having to teach not face to face which is how things are kind of intended so to be able to be successful and make music happen uh, this is just another tool to add in, all right? So many of you use Tonal Energy. So many reach out and say, we love using Tonal Energy, and I know it's got to be tough for you to be uh, stuck in the virtual world to teach lessons. Hopefully, this is just a little way, something to help you out. Um, this is new. Uh, do you use other software? Uh, this is Zoom. It's something that a lot of you are using right now, but there's other softwares like Google Classroom or whatever. Leave those thoughts in the comment section below so we can kind of like investigate and test things out. Um, have you experienced or found other cool methods of sharing information back and forth to kind of make up for like the digital barrier that's between some of the things that we do? Leave those comments in the section below. So, all right, again, this has been Albert with a Tonal Energy Tip. Uh, remember to like, follow, and subscribe to all of the social media. And until next time, stay smiley.